right, welcome back to G6. I'm Vic Garcia. Today I'm gonna give a couple tips for my builders here. Now, let's say you get a celebrity client. Instinct might be to try to get rich on one project. Today I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't do that. This is a remodel in the city of Corona Del Mar. We're right on the waterfront. The back of the house is actually the front of the house, so let's take a look. So when we came here, we had a really old pool. This was built in the 60s or 70s, uh, very old style. The homeowner was very specific that he wanted to have a modern, cool, minimalistic vibe. Uh, so we had an existing pool, no spa. So the task here was to add a a spa for about seven to eight people. We wanted to tile wrap the entire decking. So we have about 3000 square feet of 12 by 24 tile. This is from State College Distributors here in Anaheim. Pebble on this is a National Pool Tile Stonescapes Mini Pebble. This is black. We added some cobalt glass to it as well as some white glass. Homeowner wanted that deep blue water. He wanted to look uh, as seamless as possible with the stone on it. So this is a highly recommended product. product gives you 10 to 15 year warranty on it. Uh, one thing to look out for with black, it's very subjected to uh, white blotches. So you gotta make sure you're maintaining your pH levels, your chlorine levels, and you have an awesome service tech because it's a very sensitive project, project, uh, product. If you look at the spa, we have something very simple. A rectangle, this is a nine by eight black pebble. We have natural black stone. The client was actually working on another project for a home and he had some extra material. So sometimes you gotta offer yourself to use what they have available, save them some money. Now you might be telling yourself, hey, this is a $20 million house on the water. This guy shouldn't worry about $5,000 of stone. But in this case, those little things set you apart from the competition. So we used the uh, onyx black chiseled rock. These are very heavy pieces. We added a water wall or a weeping wall. What you don't see here is the plumbing that it takes to do this. We had existing equipment, so we had to run additional plumbing for our spa, additional plumbing for our weep wall. And we added this raised deck. So if you look in this area, this is Trex wood. This is really good for durability. Uh, it's composite material, so it's gonna last a lifetime. It looks great with the contrast of the pool and the tile. Uh, we fully decored it with restoration hardware. These are some day beds along with an umbrella and side tables. So let's take a look at, at the shape of the pool from the sun. So just like all of our projects, we like to have different levels. As you're walking out from the house, you see this entrance to your pool. You have some steps to come down and it gives you a more appealing look. Uh, so this is all wrapped in porcelain tile. So there's a concrete base underneath it. So when you're considering a pool deck, your, your options are gonna be plain gray concrete, or you can have a decorative concrete, whether it be a top cast finish or colored concrete or stamped and sealed. The next level up is gonna be your pavers, whether you're doing a standard three inch pavers or you're doing a porcelain paver that's a half an inch. We prefer to do a concrete base on all of our finishes just for durability and stability of the pavers. Uh, so take a look at the pool. So one of the things that a lot of clients ask for are Baja benches or a tanning shelf. In this case, we had a remodel that was built in you know, 60s, 70s, and there weren't any lawn chairs or, or ledge loungers to sit in your Baja, so it wasn't big enough. So as we tore down the pool, we said, hey, we're gonna extend the deck, but we wanted to respect the clean lines of the pool, so we didn't want the step to protrude. So when you're building Baja benches, I like to tell all my clients, what kind of chair are you gonna get? Are you gonna have a 12 inches of water, 15 inches of water? You don't wanna go deeper than that because your chairs tend to float away and it'll be a big step to get in. Here we have nine inches of water with the entry step in. The pool is three and a half feet deep here. The deep end was actually about 10 feet. It's a very old pool. Client had us raise up the pool floor and that lended itself well for us to redo all the plumbing. So if you look at the, the weeping wall, it goes from side to side. It also serves a dual purpose. It helps us 
separate the yard and, and respect the setbacks and retain the dirt, which is higher on the side. If you look on this side, we also had high levels of dirt on the window. So we added a planter, a little tiny pony wall wrapped in smooth stucco. If you zoom into the floor, you might be thinking, why do we have grout missing, right? So this is a very clean, modern look. We wanted to hide the visual uh, appearance of any deck drains that are never pretty. You have the three inch or four inch round cap. So in this case, we left an ungrouted line and we put a channel drain, a pinstripe, so all the water flows in and it looks seamless. So these are the little details when you have a high-end project that are gonna set you apart. If you look at all the landscaping, it's very clean, minimalistic. We try to contrast the deep green with the, the light green on the back. We put some um, landscape lighting that are all controlled from remote. And we'll show you guys a little bit about what we had to deal with with the equipment. So one of the key things with pool equipments is, you know, even if you do a good job, they're always an, a, a, an eyesore for most clients. So we try to do our best to disguise them or hide them, whether we put a, a block sound wall, or in this case, we wrap it in wood. Uh, we had a very tight space to put the equipment in. So this is a fully loaded pool. It has a existing filter. Right, they had a Pentair filter. We added a new pump. This, we added a variable speed pump from Hayward. This is a 2.7 TriStar variable speed. We also added a 400K BTU heater, and this pool is actually warmed by the, by, with solar power. So we have a pump, takes water up this pipe, up to the roof, runs it through a radiator system, brings back the water, heating it with the natural sunlight. This pool is always at 85 degrees. It doesn't require you to use a heater much except for the spa. This has fully automation, so we have an Omni PL system. Everything is digital from your phone, so you can change the, the light show of the pool. And we have a salt, the chlorine generator, as well as remote operated valves. So this is a fully loaded system, a lot of good stuff packed into a tight space, and the best part is that you don't get to see any of it. When you have a pool project, right? A lot of people ask, what, what does a pool cost? So you, I look at it as, what is the backyard gonna cost to make it look completed? You're not gonna be complete until you have it fully decorated with your, with your chairs, with your love seats, with your fire pit. In this case, a homeowner, he really was specific on what he liked. He wanted black matte um, aluminum furniture along with a prefabricated fire pit. That's cool, all we had to do was run a gas line to where his fire pit was gonna go and put the decor around where he wanted. So we added two day beds, some side tables, some custom lamps. The chairs, pillows are all selected by the real boss of the house, which is always the wife. So if you like what you see here, click the link in the bio, check us out in some of our next projects. And one more thing. Remember, you're not gonna get rich off of any one project. So if you're blessed enough to get a client like this, whether it's a celebrity, an athlete, or just some rich dude, treat them right. They got rich friends and you're gonna be blessed for years on end, so remember that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any friends who are thinking about remodeling their pool or if you like what you saw, be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Check us out on our following videos. We got a lot more to show you.